when you're ready, off you go. I'll jump out of the way now so I don't get wet. My goal was to make sure that we could have a look at the athletes and give them some very specific things that they can do because what you think you're doing and what you're actually doing are not always obvious. As soon as that hand touches the water, start with the other stroke because you're losing momentum. Most of you at the moment are getting to that position and going straight down. And when you do that, you lose all the pull from there to there. I think you see it in all sports. If you get one or two good athletes, then other athletes, you know, their expectations are raised. So. Um, yeah, you know, you're training next to a guy who's world champion, then you, know, you see how close you are in training and you start to believe that I can be world champion as well. It's quite interesting Alice was saying there about flicking your wrist, that it automatically flips your elbow up, which I think is quite a nice little technique. All together, come on, get on the shoulder. We want to give them a flavour of the drills now, which Alice will demonstrate, and then when we can give them the video feedback as well, we can match the two together and then send them, send them away saying, right, remember the catch-up drill we did? You need to work with that one. We should give each of them a couple of points that they can use to improve their technique. Push it down with your hands inside the waist. Pull, pull, and look at that. I'm Iron Man, you know, but I've got a bit of time. <laughs> Probably what's quite special about triathlon is that it's still a stage where it's one big family. I'm going for a longer distance this year, but it's been really good to kind of hear some of the principles and some really good anecdotes from Alistair and Johnny and Helen, which kind of really have a bit more impact when you hear from someone really experienced. Right, Johnny, when you're ready, off you go. The best athletes in the world tend to have very fast feet. They're not on the ground for very long. And Johnny, as you can see, is, is quite light and touches the ground well. He's showing off here. Doesn't look like that at the end of a race. <laughs> Any comments at all? Give us some teaching points, Johnny. Tell us how to do it. Okay. Well, uh, you just got to think of the under your heel and rolling through. It's been fun coaching people. I've never really done a lot of coaching before, and just giving something back is really important. Everyone's had a really good time, and just seeing people absolutely love triathlon, learning new things, and just seeing smiles around triathlon has been really good. It's very normal, it's like training partners. You just go up to them and talk to them, they're just ordinary people that are, are very easily approachable and, and very friendly. That's good, it's better than me. And knowing what they do means that I can just replicate and hopefully get something similar. So it's good when you're in transition to have a think about you know, where you're going to position everything, so where you're going to put your wetsuit. It's nice to be able to, to meet people and, and hear their stories because quite often like I'm tired from training and then you speak to some people and they've, they've done a lot of training, they've been to work, they've picked up their kids from school, they've done all that and I think it's just amazing what these people do and then perform to such a high level. I haven't done anything like this before certainly, it's fantastic. There's a health imagination um, that goes on throughout the whole of GE so they're um, very keen on the whole five a day and getting exercise etc. GE's involvement in triathlon is a kind of a really landmark sponsorship I think you know it's a big 2012 sponsor and I think it's fantastic. British Triathlon proudly partnered by GE. Imagination at work.